way. <laughs> well, good morning. Back out of the desert today. It's about 9 a.m. Yeah, probably 70 degrees or so. And literally just left my car about a minute ago. And off in the distance, I noticed a desert tortoise kind of cruising around. Looked like a rock with legs. Um, I lost sight of them, but I kind of know the general area where it's in. So let's see if we could find it together. It's kind of a funny sight. It's like a moving rock. So I think it was in this kind of opening here. And it was moving to my left. Sometimes you can hear them walking around. Stop. Yep. Like I said, sometimes you can hear them walking around. Wow, cool. Let me zoom in. What a great first find. So I'm going to get some photos of this dude and see what else I could find. Yeah, that desert tortoise was a nice find. Always fun to see those walking around out here. But that one was staying stationary, so I have plenty of other desert tortoise footage in previous episodes. Um, so now I'm just going to kind of wander around, check rock piles. Watch rabbits bounce around. And I'm hoping today will be good. It's gonna be sunny, but in the low to mid 80s, maybe at the high. Uh, the ants are out, so hopefully we'll find some uh, horned lizards, I don't know. But the one thing I'm not gonna film are those damn whiptails. F those things. And they're all over out here already. Well, if you watch my whip tail video, you know that these things drive me crazy trying to film them. But here's one that's being still, so let's take advantage of it. Looks like we've got a nice zebra tailed lizard here. His eyes are so squinty, it's like he took a huge hit off a bong. These things always look stoned. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, wave that tail. Oh yeah. Oh. 
there it goes. Well, it's been too hot for snakes. So I've just been walking these washes and was heading back to the car and startled something kind of brown and round that went into this plant. I thought it might have been like a squirrel. And so I was beating on the plant with my snake hook a little bit to see if I could agitate it. And suddenly just noticed this dude. And it's a large male chuckwalla. So that must have been a female chuckwalla. Uh, that ran underneath that plant. But this dude is cool. I'm gonna see if I can try and catch him. Well, I was able to catch him on the noose. How cool is that? It's a nice big male. Just drag him over to the camera for you. So you can see I use this thick yellow string. I used to use a fishing line. But I thought it was, you know, I thought it was too tight. Um, this is a bit more safer. Plus it's easier to get off, so I'm gonna take it off and uh, hold them up to the camera a little bit and then release them. Hopefully this footage turns out good. I'm just using the viewfinder in the hot sun. He is. And we have our release. Let's take a closer look at him. Well, this guy's been real cooperative with the photographs. It's been super chill, so we can get one last look at him here. Oh, so cool. Man. All right. Well, let's release him. Actually, I'm going to release them back where I noosed them. All right, thanks for the experience, buddy. You're free to go. It doesn't look like he wants to go. Well, I don't know what to do about this. 
See if I can coax them off my hand. There he goes. Yep. All right. That's about 1.30 now. Thought I'd call it quits for a couple hours and uh, go get some lunch. I decided to come back to this spot where I found the desert tortoise earlier this morning uh, to see if it might still be here or uh, in the area. And I was pretty surprised it moved pretty far. I'll show you. Seemed to have dug itself a little den here. That's one way to avoid the heat. So since I can't do that, I'm gonna go sit in my air-conditioned car, and go try and find some lunch somewhere. look over here I was trying to noose this guy it's a desert spiny lizard a really nice one too and I did get the noose around him but he came off as I was reeling him in so I might try again in a minute and that's only because I got myself Another chuckwalla. This is a nice little female, I think. Really pretty colors. And guess what? I got it by the water trick, spitting water on it while it was in a crack. Worked like a charm on this one. So I'll take some pictures of this one and let it go. And you're next, wherever you are. See you in a minute. Well, she's getting a little feisty. So I am going to release her. Man, this thing is so cool looking. Okay. Go on. Oh, gone. Not quite gone. <laughs> yeah, I see you too. beautiful lizard. The thing I love about these chuckwallas is Right after you release them, they just kind of go about their business like nothing happened. By the way, I tried to go after that desert spiny lizard again. Managed to get it back on the noose, but it shook off. So I'm done with this one. Really nice too. Well, 
as you can see, there is a lot to explore out here. And I'd love to do it, but I need to go get prepared for road cruising. So I'm gonna come back here early tomorrow morning and try my luck. I don't know if that's gonna yield anything, but sure is fun being out here. Just beautiful. So all right, let's go see what we can find on the roads. <laughs> 